three of the most active volcanoes in the Philippines are showing signs of activity as of this first day of September 2022. These are the iconic Mayon Volcano, Tall Volcano, and Canlaon Volcano. These three active volcanoes have shown signs of low-level unrest in the past 24 hours according to the latest bulletin from the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, Arfivolks. Let's start with Mayon Volcano. On August 21, 2022, Mayan's alert level was raised to alert level 1 from alert level 0 due to its unrestful condition, and since then the status has remained up until this first day of September. Fivolks observed that the remnant lava dome from the volcano's 2018 eruption has changed and had a slight extrusion between June 6 and August 20 this year. There has also been a slight swelling of the volcano's edifice since April. An indication that there is a pressure buildup from its magma below. Based on the latest bulletin from Fivolks, a faint crater glow can be observed using a telescope, and its volcanic edifice has remained slightly inflated. It also released up to 195 tons of sulfur dioxide into the air on August 30th. There have been no recorded volcanic earthquakes so far, but the provincial government of Albay won't take any chances. In the past few days, they have already been preparing for Mayon Volcano's possible eruption. Due to the looming threat, everyone is not allowed to enter the 6-kilometer radius permanent danger zone, and flying an aircraft is also prohibited. Another volcano that is also showing signs of activity is the Tall Volcano. Tall Volcano has been in a constant state of unrest since its eruption in 2020, and as of this first day of September 2022, Alert Level 1 remains up. The volcano showed a ground deformation or a slight inflation of the Tall Volcano Island in the western Tall Caldera. A slight deflation of the eastern part of the caldera has also been observed. The volcano also emitted up to 47 tons of sulfur dioxide, and the plumes reached 2,400 meters tall. Fivolks has advised everyone to refrain from entering the entire tall volcano island, especially the main crater as sudden explosions could occur at any given time. Canlaon Volcano has also shown signs of activity on this first day of September this year, and alert level 1 is up. Fivolks has recorded 27 volcanic earthquakes within the past 24 hours, and a slight ground deformation has also been observed. It ejected around 197 tons of sulfur dioxide and produced a 100-meter tall plume that drifted northeast. Just like the other two volcanoes, Fivolks has advised everyone not to enter Canelone's 4-kilometer radius permanent danger zone, as a sudden steam-driven or phreatic explosion could happen at any time. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.